Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to build timelines in Microsoft Lists. With list view and column formattings, it's extremely easy to extend and change the look and feel of a list. Thanks to a very active community contributor, Tetsuya Kawahara, we have a new sample. I will highlight this sample by building a timeline in a normal view and I show you how to implement timelines in the new board view as well. Okay, let's get started. Here I am in office.com. Let's start to create a new list in Microsoft Lists. So I'm going to get access to lists. And now from here, I can start the creation of a new list. I'm going to select a blank list. And now here I'm going to type projects projects timeline i'm going to select a color then let me select this icon and then i'm going to drop this list in the it theme then let's go with create my list is created i will use the title to insert the project the name of the project then i need to create two additional columns the first one will be multi-line of text and this will be the description of the project. It's fine to have all these options. I can click now on the button save. Now the description is added and now I'm going to add a choice column. This, is, this will be extremely helpful when I will implement the timeline in the board view. And here I will add the months of the year. I will call it months and now I will add some choices here. I added all choices. I planned to have all projects listed in this list for this current year, but of course you can move forward to the next two or three years if you want, if you have, want to have a very big overview of your project's timeline. Now I'm going to click on save. And basically the list is ready to go. Now I will add some data. Now that I have data inside this list, I can start to apply the timeline view to this list. In order to do that, I will jump to the sample provided by Tetsuya Kawahara. This will be the result. We will have something like that in the board view of this list. You can find the link to this sample in the description of my video. All I need to do is from this sample, I'm going to click on timeline board format.json. We are going to use column formatting to apply this timeline to my list. Let's go back and now I can start to apply it. First of all, I have to create a new board view. To do that, I'm going in the upper right corner in the drop down all items create new view. Then I can select board view and here I'm going to call it just board. And then I have to select the field, the choice field that I want to use to create every container in my board view. It will be this one month and then I'm going to click on create. And here we go. Now I have this list ready to go. With this board view we can see every project divided per every month. Now I'm going to customize it. So I'm going to click again on the board drop down here and then format current view. Here down below there is the link advanced mode. Let's click on it and then here I'm going to paste what I copied before. Then let's click on preview, save and here we go. So this is the final effect. I have now every project here displayed as a timeline for every month. It's pretty cool. So I have this one with the description. I reuse it always the same description, but here of course you can customize the description as you prefer. But this is very nice. It's a very nice implementation divided per month. You can add additional months targeting the next year, for example, if you have other and additional projects. And of course, using the out of the box features with this board view, you can move projects across months. So I can move this one project to Red Sea just by dragging and dropping it. 
I am back in Microsoft Lists. Now I'm going to create a new list because I want to show you an alternative how you can build a timeline in a list. Let's go with the button new list, blank list, and here will be one timeline. Orange again. Let's keep these lights on. Then I'm going to target always the IT team and then let's click on create. Now here the change will be easy. I'm going to rename the first column title. I'm going to go on column settings and then rename and this will be the release. Let me save it. And then I'm going to add here an additional column. This would be a multi lines of text. And then I'm going to call it projects. Let me save. The second column is created. Let's add some data here. I have some items in the list. If I click on one item in Mars, for example, I have here this project with the description. So now I want to transform this column in a timeline column. So let me switch to the sample. And if we click on generic timeline JSON, we can copy this JSON that I have to use later in this column, projects. Let's click on this one, column settings, format these columns, and finally, advanced mode. Now I can copy and paste this JSON. I can click on preview and voila, I have here the timeline in this column. I can save. Now if I close this panel, I can see that in January, for this 2022 January release, we have this project Falcon with the description and we have an additional one. The project B is planned to be released in this date. I have the description and here I have another one. I have project C. So this is very cool because you can apply to this view, this single timeline with project inside as an example or you can opt for the board view with several packets. It's up to you. All right, we have seen how to build the timelines in Microsoft Lists. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider to subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.